All right, today's question comes from the Bay Area in California. And the question is, just to confirm, does Google take manual action on web spam? Does manual action result in a removal, or can it also be a demotion? Are there other situations where Google will, rem will remove content from its search results? So I'm really glad to have a chance to clarify this, because some people might not know this, although we've written this quite a bit in various places online. Google is willing to take manual action to remove spam. So if you write an algorithm to detect spam, and then someone searches for their own name, and they find off-topic porn, they're really unhappy about that, and they'll write on into Google and let us know that they're unhappy. And if we write back and say, well, we hope in six to nine months to be able to have an algorithm that catches this off-topic porn, that's not a really satisfactory answer for the guy who has off-topic porn showing up for his name. So in some situations, we are willing to take manual action on our results. It's when there are violations of our web spam quality guidelines. So if you search for quality guidelines, you'll find a web page that has all the stuff documented. And all of the individual stuff hopefully makes sense. It's essentially to avoid deceptive, manipulative, malicious behavior, the sorts of things that are fooling search engines, the sorts of things that are causing pages to be ranked higher than they should be ranked. And on individual items like cloaking or doorway pages or keyword stuffing, you can often click and get a lot more information, examples, find out why we don't like things like paid links or whatever. So, uh, so the answer to your question is yes, we are willing to take manual action when we see violations of our quality guidelines. Uh, another follow-up question was whether it has to be a removal or whether it can be a demotion. It can be a demotion. Um, it tends to be removal because the spam we see tends to be very clear cut. But there are some cases where you might see cookie cutter content that's maybe not truly, truly awful but is duplicative or you know you can find in, in tons of other places. And so it's content that is really not a lot of value add, those sorts of things. And uh, you know we say in our guidelines to avoid duplicate content, whether it's on the same pages, like things like doorway domains might have duplicate content, uh, whether it's across domains, so having lots of different domains with very, very similar or even identical content. So when we see truly malicious, really bad stuff, we're often taking action to remove it. If we see things that are um, a, still a violation of our quality guide, guidelines, but not quite as bad, then you might see a demotion. And then the last question was, are there other situations where Google re will remove content from its search results? So we do reserve the right to remove content for spam. Uh, content can remove, be removed for legal reasons, like we might get a DMCA complaint or you know, some valid court order that says we have to remove something within this particular country. Um, we're also willing to remove stuff for security reasons. So malware, Trojans, virus horse, uh, virus, virus horse, Trojan horses, uh, viruses, uh, you know, worms, those sorts of things. Uh, you know, another example of security might be if you have like your own credit card number on the web. You know, so those are some of the areas that we are willing to take action and we are willing to remove stuff from our search results. We don't claim that that's a comprehensive list. We think that it's important to be able to exercise judgment. Uh, you know, so if there's some safety issue or you know, of course things like child porn, which would fall under legal. Um, but those are the th the major areas that we've seen would be spam, legal reasons, and security. Um, and certainly the vast majority of action that we take falls under those three broad areas. But just to be clear, we do reserve the right to take action, whether it could be um, demotion or removal. And we think we have to apply our best judgment. You know, we want to return the best results that we can for users. And the action that we take is in service of that, trying to make sure that we get the best search results we can out to people when they're doing searches.